What's going on Dark Souls 2 fans, Methodical Gamer here, bringing you guys another Dark Souls 2 PvP video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Parry Dagger. Well, sorta. Of. We're taking a look at the Crypt Black Sword. When taking a look at the Crypt Sword's base stat requirements, it's very demanding. It requires 40 Strength, 10 Dexterity, 12 Intelligence, and 12 Faith. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Parry Dagger. Yes, I do have this weapon upgraded, we'll talk about that more in a few minutes. That's all, and we'll talk about it right now. The only ring here that I typically don't run is the Dark Clutch Ring, which adds 80 points of AR to your weapon dark base damage. As far as the armor choice goes, I've been watching a lot of Berserker lately, so I've kind of gotten in the mood to make my character look sort of like Guts. The stats are pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. The first thing to talk about with the Crypt Black Sword is the first question that comes to mind when we start wielding and using this weapon. How are we going to use this weapon? And how are we going to master this massive, goliath, popsicle-like weapon? The first thing to discuss and the first thing to do is to look at the list of the pros and the cons of the weapon. Ideally, the main con and the main pro of the weapon. There are two pros of this weapon that stand out above all others. The first that comes to mind is the insane DPS. This thing hits like a truck. The second pro, or the second con depending on how you look at it, is its moveset. While the animations of this weapon are quite slow, they do work extremely well when you're baiting your opponents. The one thing it comes down to, whether you're going to be successful with this weapon or not, is predictability. You need to know the moveset of this weapon, and you need to know it well enough that you can always switch it up so that you're the one reading your opponent and they're never one reading you. As a tip, and referring back to the parry dagger, don't only switch up just your animations for your weapons and the combinations you use them in. Switch up the timing of your attacks. And what I'm referring back to specifically is the parry dagger, plus 10, I had it upgraded. Well, the parry dagger does not scale well with the statistics on this build. But what it does do is it offers a quicker animation than I can ever pull off of the Ultra Great Sword. Taking a look back at the Crypt Black Sword, and knowing the movesets of this weapon, you need to know which animations come out faster than the others. When you're looking specifically at the one hand R1s, you should note that the second R1 comes out quicker than the first. The thing to note about the two hand R1s coming from this weapon is that they're always initially from the left, whereas usually from another Ultra Great Sword, they usually come from the right. When you start using this weapon in PvP, one of the first things to take note of is the sprint R1s, both one handed and two handed, as well as the rolling R1s. As a player, you need to know at what range are these attacks most effective, and you need to know which ones cover most ground, i.e., the rolling one handed R1 covers more ground than the two handed. Overall, the Crypt Black Sword is not a very hard weapon to learn. My last tip for this weapon, if you're going to make a build for it, make it for this weapon alone. If you're going to carry another weapon, make sure it's extremely lightweight because the weight of this weapon is insane. And if you're wanting to maximize the DPS, you need to carry things like the Flynn's Ring and the Dark Clutch Ring versus Royal Soldiers. I would like to personally thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out in any way, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, remember to play smart keep on winning.